What's up guys, it's Sava and I am back today with another resort review. We just got back about a week ago from Playa del Carmen, Mexico. It's an hour outside of Cancun and we stayed at the Wyndham Ultra. So I'm gonna be reviewing the Wyndham Ultra in this video, letting you know the pros and cons and if I'd recommend it. All right, so if you've never been through the Cancun airport, one huge tip, we actually got played the first time we went through that airport. There's gonna be all these people on the side. And if you've already booked transportation, they're gonna be like, oh, you're here for what transportation? You tell them. And they're like, oh, okay, follow me, follow me, I'll take you there. No, 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 no. They do not take you there. They take you to these people that will sell you an excursion and will sneakily and secretly actually be getting you to go do a timeshare presentation and after the timeshare presentation then you can go on your excursion so ignore them run by them say no 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 i got it and just go out the door to where the taxis and the transportation actually is so if you don't already know playa del carmen is about an hour south 45 minutes to an hour south of cancun the reason why we decided to go to playa del carmen this time was because it has more of like a town vibe rather than Cancun which is like a whole strip of resorts and you can get into the town but it is a little bit of a journey. I love Playa del Carmen. We're actually already planning our next trip back. And the Wyndham Ultra, the reason why I picked it was because it is so well located. It is just steps off Fifth Avenue. So Fifth Avenue is the main avenue in Playa del Carmen where all the kind of touristy restaurants and bars are, gift shops, um, all that stuff that is fun to kind of walk around see and check out when you are traveling someplace new. The Wyndham Ultra is actually recently bought by Wyndham. Previously, it was Panama Jack, and I think that was a family resort, while the Wyndham Ultra is adults only. It's a, I would say a mid-sized resort. It's not one of those super huge Uber resorts. It's not even as big as Paradises Cancun where we had stayed before, but it is, I would say about mid-sized. There are, I think six restaurants, four bars and a coffee shop and like this little grab and go area. We actually got a regular room in the resort. I don't remember what it was actually called, but it faced the Hilton right across the street. So if you're trying to kind of pick between the Hilton and the Wyndham Ultra, I think Hilton's about 150 bucks more expensive, but if location is the most important thing to you, they are literally across the street from each other. So like I said, there are six restaurants. We actually tried most of them, but not all of them. The food was, it was okay. It was, I would say it was better than Paradisus Cancun. But you know, people keep telling me on that video that I need to lower my expectation. I think I'm just spoiled, so it's hard for me, but it, I it was all right. I don't think it was anything special, but because you are right off Fifth Avenue, you can so easily just walk a couple blocks and find something else to eat if, you know, you can't find anything that you fancy on the resort. One of the cool things about two of their restaurants is that they're actually not in the resort. You have to walk outside and go to them. So it kind of makes it feel more like a night out on the town. Like you go to the restaurant for dinner. It's only, I don't know, half a block, a block away. It's Zarate, which is their Mexican restaurant, and Bella. Zarate, we didn't get to try. I heard it was all right, but I did see, we could see from our room that, I don't know if it was every night, but there would be performers that came and performed outside of Zarape. Because Zarape is open air restaurant, it's really easily accessible to the street. And there are people that would come and do like traditional dance or like traditional Mayan dances outside, which I thought was pretty cool. Could be fun to do for an evening out. We did go to Bella, the Italian restaurant. Everyone kept saying that that was the best restaurant on the resort. 
I thought it was okay. We went with another couple, so I didn't get any video. So a couple of the restaurants, they said that you need to make reservations, but I think they make a bigger deal about having to make reservations for some of the restaurants than is actually necessary. I think it'd be pretty easy to walk into most of them. Maybe it's the time of year, I don't know, but we didn't have any issues. Another restaurant that we tried was Off The Hook, which is their sushi restaurant. It's actually a really interesting location. So it's up on, I think the third floor, and I don't know, maybe a lot of people don't know about it. There's actually a chill, small pool up on the top deck, which it was actually, it was very pretty. Not many people there. Off the hook, great vibes, great view. I really liked the setting, but unfortunately the food was not good. It took about, I would say 45 minutes to get the sushi that we ordered, which I think they only have like four or five tables, so not sure why it took so long. Though our server was very nice. Then once we got the food, the sushi was just not good. Oh my gosh, I would... Yeah, that's a that's a miss for me. I would say if you go there, just sit down at the bar and get a drink and enjoy the vibes. But the sushi... Nah. I would say the main restaurant is Ventanas, which in the evening turns into Brasas, which is the Mexican grill. So I think they do a lot of grilled meats there. We didn't try Brasas, but Ventanas in the morning is their like breakfast buffet. It was okay. Um, I thought the fresh green juice was really good. They also do made to order eggs. Um, you can get a bunch of different things there. It was, it was pretty standard for a breakfast buffet. I can't hate on it. There's also a pizza, kind of like a grab and go pizza spot by the main pool. And I actually really appreciated that. The pizza, it's not like New York style pizza. It's not like incredible pizza, but if you've been drinking, it is perfect pizza. I mean, pepperoni, perfect pizza. And then there's also a grab and go spot. I think it's open 24 hours. Um, they have some juices, salads and fruits some sandwiches and some like Nutri-Grain bars. Honestly, it's not too exciting, but I got a couple of juices from there. Overall, I would say the food of the resort was mediocre. It's not gonna blow you away, but if you're hungry, it'll do, definitely. Um, the, oh, you know what? The bacon cheeseburgers from room service were actually not very bad. I think we got the most bang for our buck from the room service, which was 24 hours. And I don't know why, we were just getting hungry in the middle of the night and we'd order room service and that was a blessing. Didn't have to go out of our room, didn't have to go off the resort, room service and uh, yeah, that was, that was great. If you want some really great food, now here is my pro tip of this video. If you want some really great food, get off the resort. If you really want to get blown away, you got to take a 10 minute walk, basically straight down the avenue that was it? I, I think it's called Constituyentes. I might be making that up until you get to the mega. The mega is a big, uh, kind of like grocery store. There's a little kind of strip mall situation going on there. But in the parking lot, there are vendors that set up. So they have great traditional Mexican food that you can get there that is, honestly, we had the best carnitas that I've ever had in my life. Like they don't look like much, but oh my God, my mind, our minds were blown. They were stunning, just so flavorful. And I think for like two huge tacos, it came out to 36 pesos, which is under $2. So that is a type of value and quality that you can get for your money if you get off the resort, if you get off Fifth Avenue. We actually tried to go back there a second time to that uh, Carnitas place because we were thinking about it, but joke was on me because it wasn't there but actually it might have been for the better because then we ended up wandering around the neighborhood and we found some really really amazing tacos um there was a spot right across from the mega um you could see the smoke kind of billowing from the cart and they do they do cochinita pibil they do like a grilled pork and maybe some other stuff but the grilled pork tacos were oh my god so delicious also extremely cheap and then we walked back into that neighborhood and we got some other i think it was cochinita pibil which is like um pork that has been 
baked for a really long time so it's just fall apart tender and like seasoned and oh my god the quality of tacos that you can get if you go onto the street is just incredible this is what i loved about playa del carmen that you are able to walk from the downtown and get like real street food it is just it's it's great in cancun one of the issues was that to get from the resort into the town where there's real street food you have to take a bus or a taxi and it's like 20 minutes or so depending on where you stay but a 20 minute journey or so what i loved about the wyndham ultra is that you can walk up the resort and be on fifth you can walk up and down there there's a ton of bars clubs restaurants shops you are gonna get hassled for drugs if you want to buy drugs um and you are gonna get hassled to buy excursions but honestly it's not a big deal just tell them you're not interested and keep it moving another both pro and con was the pool so the con is that the pool is way too small for the size of the resort if you want a good lounge chair you have to get up at like 7 a.m there's actually a lot of older people that stay there i noticed and those old people wake up early. Let me tell you, they wake up early, they get their beach towels and they will set it on the chair and that's theirs for the day. So don't even, don't even bother. You have to get up at like 6.30 to get a really good lounge chair, which I personally was unwilling to do, but luckily I have my lovely Joel, who he usually wakes up early, so he would get up at like 6.30 and go get us two lounge chairs, and that was that. The pro about the pool was that it was a lot of fun. We made friends there. There's actually people that lead activities like volleyball or dance lessons and they were just such a great time they really kind of added to the vibe of the pool it seems like one side of the pool is the fun side and then the other side is like the quiet side it's kind of divided by a bridge and on one side it's fun the other side is like people that are trying to hide from the fun so yeah i would always recommend and pick the fun side of the pool because that's where you're gonna meet people and you know have a good time it's really important to note that at this resort, they do not start serving alcohol until 11 a.m. I think it's 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. Somebody actually recommended to us that you order whatever you want in the morning the night before. So if he said that he would order Bailey's the night before, put it in his fridge, and then the next morning he would throw it in his coffee. I didn't go that far. I don't have a problem not drinking until 11 a.m. But if you do want to start drinking before 11 a.m., then maybe think about buying some alcohol of your own or you know doing what that guy did another con for some people but honestly it didn't really matter to me was the beach if you read the reviews online you're gonna know that there is not really a beach there because of hurricanes it's kind of destroyed and eroded the beach um if you go to the very left of the resort there is a little bit of the beach and you can walk over off the resort to like a bigger nicer beach but at the resort not much of a beach if you are a person that wants a beautiful beach at your resort i would suggest first of all one not staying in the town of playa del carmen maybe going to one of the resorts outside of playa del carmen like playa car or cancun has beautiful beaches i can't knock cancun for that Cancun has beautiful beaches, so think about Cancun as well. Now, some people have asked me about excursions in the Paradises Cancun video. This time, we actually went to Excret Park, which is like, I guess what they call the Disney World of Mexico. To be honest, I think it was a little overrated. Um, the tickets for the two of us, which included lunch, an all-you-can-eat lunch, and one beer were $150 each but my favorite part about that was the um there's like different rivers that you can float down that you go through jungle and mangrove and like into cave not caves but like tunnels and it that was really refreshing relaxing and fun I also loved the bird and the butterfly area that was really cool actually if you do want to book an excursion while you're there you can do it through the hotel 
like I said earlier, there's also going to be guys on Fifth Avenue that will sell you any excursion you want. I personally kind of like to do it through like TripAdvisor, um, just because I can read reviews and kind of see if I'm getting a good price. Overall, I would say that the Wyndham Ultra in Plato Carmen is a good resort. You'll have a good time. The rooms are comfortable and the location cannot be beat. But would I go back? Probably not. Actually, when we go back to Playa del Carmen in a couple months, we've decided to stay at just a regular hotel that's not all inclusive. I think that for us, we don't really get our money's worth in the food at an all inclusive because we end up going out a lot. Also, because Fifth Avenue is so much fun, we ended up going out a lot and spending a lot of money outside of the resort. So while it is nice to be able to have drinks and not have to worry about it during the day, at night we ended up spending a good amount of money. So when we go back, we're going to be staying at a hotel kind of on the, in the Fifth Avenue area. But if you definitely want to do all-inclusive and you're looking for location, the Wyndham Ultra is your spot. I mean, you cannot beat the location. and. You know, it's easy, you get your breakfast all included, you get your drinks during the day all included. Just make sure you get up early to get a good spot at the pool. Anyways, thanks for watching this, guys. I hope this helps you plan for your vacation. If it does, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Bye.